as you saw, obviously, I just finished an arm workout. Please tell me why I really can't lift my arm. Oh my god. I've been so slack lack. I've been really bad about doing upper body workout. Personally, I just don't find it to be like fun and interesting. And so I often hit lower body and just ignore and avoid my upper body but still at the same time I want to see definition with my upper body but how are you gonna be able to see definition if you're not working out that body part you know what I mean like how am I supposed to expect my biceps to be popping if I'm not working out my biceps at all so really just trying to get back into the groove and the move of working out like genuinely I feel like I go through spurts and then for my period, you know, motivation is just not always there, which means discipline has to kick in. Obviously, um, discipline is a fruit of the spirit, which is a spirit that I'm working on, um, getting the fruit of. So there's that. That's something that I am going to get better at. It's just being disciplined when it comes to my workouts and my nutrition, even if I'm not motivated. And I think it's important because if I want to see the results of what I want to see, and um, this year and then I've got to do the thing even doing that is like my body's like girl and my arms are literally fatigued I try to start out on a higher weight just because I was like oh yeah I was doing this before please tell me why I had to put that down and do have that so um, really a humbling experience to know that I really have to build my body back to where I had it before and that's going to take some time um, and you know, just, just rocking with that. So the next plan is to finish my skincare, which I don't really have a skincare routine. That's actually something that I'm working on and researching what works best for my body and also asking the Holy Spirit to help me because I have such sensitive skin. And so products that are used for many people don't work well for me. And so I have to be very mindful and careful and also just, um, willing to ask the Lord what do I need to use for my face because I have hyperpigmentation I do have some dark spots on my face over the years of just not knowing how to take care of my face and using products that uh, destroyed my skin along the way and let me tell you I have blessed skin like compared to people that I've seen and grown up with like my skin really isn't bad however I do want a clear skin and to work on those dark spots and those areas that need attention to and so um, you know I'm gonna work on that and researching um, a little bit more what I can do to be better in that area and not only my, my skin care but just body care in general um, working on the dark spots but yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at. Once I finish that, I'm going to put some stuff on my eyebrows because I'm also in a hair care uh, growth journey. And um, obviously you saw that I got my hair braided earlier by my mom, the best of the best. And my hair is doing a lot better since she started braiding it back. I noticed my hair was healthier and growing um, a year ago when I would have it constantly braided by her. But oftentimes I wanted my hair out, I wanted it permed and flowing and all of that. But I'm really getting back to healthy hair and not really worrying about length, though it's still in the back of my mind. And still a goal that I have is to have um, longer hair. Right now I'm working on healthier hair. And even since we started braiding it the past month, month and a half, I've seen a tremendous change in my hair care and in just how silky it feels and how healthy it looks and feels so i'm very happy with that and i think if i keep that up for the next few months um in the summer i'll be able to wear it out for a little bit but i'm really pleased with what i'm seeing so far when it comes to that so going back to what i was saying with my eyebrows I want to care for that as much as with my eyelashes i feel like i've definitely um not done them justice and so this is let's see if you can see it first class jamaica um and it is that's the back of it let's try it this way can you see that 
Um, and so Deeper Than Hair, I don't know if you guys follow her at all on YouTube, but she is number one amazing at what she does. She is all about healthy hair care and I think she is someone that should be um, watched and pursued and followed for sure if you are working on hair care and hair health. Um, I think she has great pointers. I think she is about your hair and um, she just seems like a great person in general. So I love watching her YouTube channel and her product here is what she has to help, you know, your edges grow back. And so I put that up there as well. But if it's for the hair, I like I put these things on the eyebrows as well. And you don't put much, at least you're not supposed to. Um, and I just kind of rub it in. A little bit and then I'll do the same thing for my edges I need to do my edges by the way which I'm learning how to do y'all I don't I do not know how to do my edges like ow I that's something I never learned um, and so I'm learning that which means it's a journey guys it is currently seven something um i am about to get a workout in i just finished my warm-up and i think i really just don't feel or have the energy to come up with something of my own i don't really have a quad focused workout routine set yet um i usually just have a lower body workout um and really i'm trying to split that up between glutes and hamstrings and quad focus workouts into separate days and i just haven't gone that far into making that so i'm going to use the fit on app today and follow one of their workouts which i absolutely love fit on i think they're a great app i think they are amazing in helping you through the moves and the routines and the exercises and so i'm gonna play that get that workout in and then get ready for class I just finished that workout and my gosh it was just a like on the floor workout but that was kind of intense it challenged my body having someone coach you and just say like keep going don't stop it's mine over matter like you know um, muscle to mind connection and it's just this hype that you get from these trainers on the fit on app that helps you keep going when you really want to quit and so I have some of my favorite trainers up here. One of them is Kenta. Like shout out to you, Kenta. I don't know if you'll ever watch this, but fit on if you are, sponsor me. Like I absolutely love your app and I absolutely love your trainers. And Kenta is so motivating, so cool, so fun, and just amazing to work out with. So um, yeah, I'm running a little bit behind. I'm like five, six minutes behind schedule of getting out and getting to school on time. So gonna go ahead and get ready and then head to class. All right guys, so I'm on a lunch break right now. I ate some leftover pasta that we had from Olive Garden a day or two ago because I didn't meal prep properly. <laughs> So I had leftover Olive Garden pasta with some chicken. So, you know, protein. There you go. Um, and yeah, I think my biggest thing today is to make sure that I stay hydrated and also that I'm eating high protein foods throughout the day, especially with my workout this morning. I want to make sure that I'm fueling my body the best way possible so that it can recover and just do well from me 
straining it and stretching it earlier. The other plan, once I finish lunch, gotta go back to class for a couple more hours. Uh, we are practicing and reviewing for the boards. So in ultrasound school, I am near the end, graduate in May, which is so wild to think about and to even comprehend. Like I am in a daze about it and I can't believe it's happening, but it's happening. Like I'm graduating from ultrasound school very soon, but we are in, we're taking classes. It was really just one class, but it is a registry board exam review class. So we're just going through all the things that we have learned so far in the program. And the hope is to be registered before we graduate, which is a great opportunity, I feel like. And it gives us an advantage, of course, when it comes to job pursuits and job applications and just, you know, being one step closer uh, to and one step higher than some of our competition when it comes to getting a job. So we are preparing for that. And when I tell you that I'm so nervous, I have set out a studying regimen for the next uh, month. And I really have to stick with that. I really have to stick with the schedule because if I do, I really believe that I'll be able to pass the boards. Um, and that's obviously the goal. You want to pass the boards the first time. And so that is my goal. So I'll probably be having some study vlogs that will come up over the next few weeks just to show you, give you an inside look of what I use. And if you're interested in ultrasound school as well in the program and what I use to study, then I'll definitely include that as well if you guys are interested in that. I was sort of in a sabbatical uh, not too long ago, I actually had hit rock bottom three weeks ago and just being emotionally and physically drained, stretched. I was burned out, wiped out, just not in a healthy space. Not, I didn't have a healthy perspective of other people, those that I served with, those that I was helping out, those that I was, you know, showing the way. I just, I wasn't in a good space. And so I'm getting better and becoming healthier and so we are starting back the vlogs and the podcasts and and just getting back into a healthy Lexi uh, life and that is such a beautiful thing I think the Lord has shown me so many good things over the past few weeks about himself and about me and how I'm to uh, how I'm to approach this season of my life and so um with school school is a big factor ultrasound school is a big big thing it is no light work whatsoever the hardest thing i've ever done when it comes to my education and so that's something that i'm pursuing it's something that i'm doing and uh really have to focus over these next few weeks to make sure that i become the best sonographer a girl can be lunch is pretty much over at this point, I'm going to head back in and maybe I can show you a little bit of in class. But after that, I'll probably head home and um, spend some time with Jesus. And then we'll see what the rest of the day holds. I'm back at home and class was exhausting like mentally the information that we have to know for the boards for registry to take these exams and pass them is insane our teacher did so well in like flowing through all the material but when i tell you at the end we were all just like what are we doing here why are we still here that's exactly how we felt but got back home and i am working on a very special project that I can't wait to share with you guys. Can't tell you what it is yet, but uh, soon I will be able to share it with you. And so I'm figuring out all the other little details that need to be done before I can share it with you. But I have had quite a struggle with this project, especially here nearing the end. And I am just so ready to share it with y'all and yet it seems as though everything that could go wrong goes wrong you know it feels like that sometimes when you're just so ready to share it and to say it and to be a part of it in that next phase and yet you are hitting obstacle after obstacle and it's like oh my gosh when is this 
going to actually work out in my favor. And so I had that mini meltdown moment earlier today when I got home. And so I was just working on those details, trying to get that kink fixed because there are deadlines on the line and there are other people that are partnering with me on this special project and so it can be a little bit more of a pressure and it's more pressure than I'm putting on myself than anyone else's you know how that goes right where you put more on yourself and um, than anyone else does than God even does and so I'm excited because this is for the Lord and something that I get to be a part of and I just want it to be great so anyway with that kink I was really discouraged on top of being like mentally drained from such a hard day at class then you have something that's yet again another obstacle and it just kind of wipes you out a little bit so I took a moment to just lay down played my worship music and I just lay down for a few minutes because I needed to pause you know my anxieties were high my frustrations were even higher and I just needed a moment to be still so once I got up I also made time with the Lord which is what I was originally supposed to do but then that kickback happened and it kind of kicked me back and so even though the project isn't going as as smooth as I was like there's so many more things to be grateful for and to take that moment and reflect on that and to honor the Lord and to thank him and to be still with him and and to just meet with him has been a game changer and something that I'm very thankful for now am I still tired and emotionally and mentally drained oh yeah you better believe it but my heart is grateful for the day that has been made and the fact that I get to rejoice and be glad in it. And that is a choice that I have to make. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. You know, like sometimes things can not go your way of what's coming up in the future or what's just been going on in the past or what you're experiencing in the present. And you sometimes just become overwhelmed where you are. And so this is just a moment to pause, sit with the Lord and thank him for what today has brought and for who he is and who you are.